Jason, catch! Jason, catch! Jason, catch! Catch, Jason! Ow! Oh shit! Dude, I gave you like a three second head start. Dude. You just looked at me, man. Fucking keep throwing shit at me. Jesus! Alright, that one was kind of my fault. I'm you sorry. You do this bullshit by yourself. I'm sorry. Damn, man. I guess you just couldn't fucking wait on me. Oh. But I'm gonna test with all four of them. Oh, well. That wouldn't yeah. make sense. What up, everybody? It's your two favorite boys back at it again. Today we have a short yet special and important video today. Today we're gonna to be test fitting some of the fenders on the car and make sure that you know the fenders are proportionate and they're gonna have proper fitment on the GT, aka El Chapo. I was gonna rotate my wheels and put uh, the tins in the back and the front to make sure that it was, nothing was gonna touch when I turned and have full lock, but I did my research. People said it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, to answer you guys' question, I am gonna get new wheels in the front. I'm going tens. I plan on buying that after I get these coilovers, which is coming up real, real quick. Uh, but I'm not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna see if everything matches up and we're gonna start taping. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let me just say this real quick about the difference between my wide body and JJ's wide body. My wide body project was for just getting it on for function, making sure it works for the angle kit that I'm getting. You know, it's not to look pretty. I didn't take, I wasn't, I wasn't worried about making it look good. I was worried about its functionality. JJ's wide body, I'm gonna be taking a different approach to it making sure he gets the right hardware, uh, the right lining, he does all the right things. I'm gonna go step by step with him about this whole wide body project. Cause this is what, our uh, our third wide body now? This is our third wide body. Third wide body install. And I'm a very big fan on the rocket bo wide bodies. Uh, if you guys heard this before, Nakai Sun is one of my like idols for like, you know, build wise for cars. So I take body work very seriously. I know you guys can't tell by my car, but it's a drift car. Understand it's a drift car. It's not supposed to look pretty. Stop asking me why it's different fucking colors. Cause it's a drift car, damn. Back to your regularly scheduled video. Alright y'all, so the test fitting is pretty much done. I'm super excited about how how it fits so well, man. I was all this low-key real nervous. I'm about to show y'all what we need to do, what we need to get uh, in order to push this project to the next step. So the front, front looks great, right? I'm loving it. 
I'm gonna go with. Ba, 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 ba. I'm loving it. <laughs> All right, so the tire sits right here as of right now, but we're obviously I'm about to get some new front tires because these are only uh, 8.5, believe it or not. I'm gonna go with a 40 inch sidewall. I feel like that'd be pretty much what I want. I don't want to go too low because then that means I'd have to lower it even more. And I'm, I'm already gonna have to lower it lower than I want it to go with the but the front end I'm getting in the splitter combination is gonna sit pretty low in the front. Typically I don't really want it to come. I mean, poke looks good, but if it's like, say if the tire sits like right, like right here, like pretty much right on the edge, I'll be, I'll be pretty happy with that. I don't want it to poke past a wide body because then, I mean, it looks cool. I want more form with this car and it kind of defeat the purpose of getting a wide body. So you want it flush? Yeah, pretty much flush, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. No, fuck that. Poke. We're gonna have to pretty much drop it. I'm thinking in about an inch to get the look uh, just right. I think the Thames are gonna bring it out like pretty much perfect. If we need to, we can get like like a small spacer, but I don't really think when I throw the Thames on, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. The back is a different story. This yeah. shit looks like a fucking monster truck back here. I'm gonna keep the Thames. I'm um, keeping the same wheel. Uh, I'm only just going to change it to a 40 inch tire because I want it to be one of the uh, flat. And yeah, as you can see for yourself, we still got a shit ton of gap. Uh, we're going to have to bring this out a lot. We're probably going to have to put uh, like a 75 millimeter spacer right here, to be honest. Now, about spacers, let me just say this uh, spacers are not that bad. Due to contrary belief, people think that they're terrible. Uh, they're not that bad if you're like this is more of a, a like street car, you yeah. know. So street it's car. it's not that bad. Like if he was going on like the, the track and he was like dragging this shit, yeah. Um, so for this wide body, uh, what company is it? Oh yeah, it's not Rock. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not fucking Rock. You guys. <laughs> If you thought Rocky Boy was gonna fit on this car, uh, y'all are on PCP. This wide body is made by a company called uh, HCM Carbon. Uh, you can look them up if you wanna get your own wide body. And then I still gotta do my wing extension. I wanna, like I said, get another front end and build a custom splitter. So this thing is gonna look fucking sick. Uh, Jason, final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts, we in this bitch. I just wanna first thank the Academy. Uh, my mom, Larry, uh, my, uh, my dog, uh, let's see, both my kneecaps, need those, uh, and, uh, you guys, yeah, I see you in the back, you too, stop, stop doing whatever you're doing, your mom's gonna walk in, you don't want none of that action going on, that, oh, action, you don't want none of that, <laughs> Hey guys, I know you thought the video was over, but me and Jason liked the kit so much that we're running like this. We're done. No hardware, tape and all. Going for the GIF look. Done. That's it.